for easier references purposes but i know that is the name and title the christians use for the spirit that entity but it's almost like that entity right now is the demonic force favorite general to use or to lead out here with right now you know what i'm saying i didn't understand how covert and manipulative and sneaky and controlling and low vibrational this demon was until i actually had experienced it and the overts is is like it's a little bit easier to manage because they're in your face it's like hey fuck you i don't like you spitting your food right in front of you all that kind of shit but the coverts are more sneaky you know what i'm saying they be the ones that do the witchy shit to your food when you're not looking you know what i'm saying this was a tricky and a tough one for me because like when i first start dealing with them and, and my first one was my biggest situation i always speak of but it was like when i first start dealing with it i didn't understand that sympathy was his favorite tactic to use to pull and draw my emotions and i'm a highly hypersensitive being so for me anytime i was communicating with this being and they would start using this tactic in the beginning it would work extremely well because i really cared about the person i really fucked with the person you know what i'm saying and i felt like you know how we are as chosen ones we always see the light and the best in a being even if it's this small of a light you know what i'm saying like we always want to pull that bitch out of there but it's like these ones are more sneaky and covert like ah <sighs> what's a good description for it it's like like a baby or or a very young child that's like playing around and acting submissive or or crying or fussy you know what i'm saying and then as soon as you come near the child or something it like slaps you or hits you in the face you know what i'm saying and it's like that's what these entities this jezebel spirit has been out here doing and running rampant and just jumping vessel to vessel to vessel like it's almost like it's moving so fast like we barely can even get away from the motherfucker and that's why it's important for us to build our own vessels up extremely strong so that way they don't have access to us like that you know what i'm saying but when i first started encountering this shit it just used to fucking it operates in such a chaotic form you know what i'm saying first it gets your energy in motion and then it'll put you in like a, a fucking confusing state you know what i'm saying you could be talking about something about the trees you know what i'm saying and then all of a sudden they start talking about socks and lollipops you know what i'm saying so it's like it they they do this thing called salad and and it is to keep you in a confused state so that way they can control the situation and the narrative you know what i'm saying and it's one of their favorite tactics to start off with outside of them using the empathy and the sympathy as one of their tactics to utilize to kind of pull your ass down and take control of you you know what i'm saying they're extremely controlling beings and entities you know what i'm saying they're like the most entitled entities out here running around it's like when you come across them it's like bitch you ain't even got no reason to be entitled like you ain't even got nothing going on you ain't doing nothing with yourself and you're, you're not going anywhere but for some reason it's like because they're breathing and they're in these vessels they have this false sense of entitlement and like this false sense of power and authority and the main reason that really only is happening is because it's demonic shit out here that's leading right now you know what i'm saying that's really the only reason and they're really like snakes in the grass to the fucking third degree like i used to have shit just fucking pop up missing and i wouldn't even know what the fuck happened to it you know what i'm saying like i could wear a shirt one day and then i might not think about the shirt or 
might not even probably not crossing my mind in my spirit realm because I don't see it. So maybe like three, four months later, I'm looking around like, damn, where my shirt go to? After I'm looking for the shirt, I'm looking like, damn, where did my hat go to? Just a bunch of weird witchy shit. I remember this one situation where like I had wore it in one of my episodes. I had the track beast dad hats. I got two of them, one for me and one for my BM. But the motherfucker is so witchy that and, and they, they lie. They are pathological liars, these entities, you know what I'm saying? They they do whatever. And and I say that because it's like the motherfuckers took my hats and made them disappear. I was looking for them, couldn't find them. It's, it was months and months and months and months that went by. Man, all of a sudden, I just asked the motherfucker one day just in the kitchen or something, just ask him like, yo, have you seen my hats? Blah, 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 blah. No, 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 I haven't seen them, blah, blah, blah. And I was kind of getting mad and frustrated because I've been looking for it. I've been talking about it out loud. But when I talk about it out loud, the motherfucker just gets silent, like in response of like they don't even hear me fucking talking. So I go through the closet and I start pulling all this shit out because I'm like frustrated now. Now I'm like, yo, it's been months. Where the fuck is my hat set? I go through the closet, start pulling all this stuff out, get to the, get to her backpack, which just had a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in there, but I went through all my shit first, went through her stuff, here go one of my hat stuff at the bottom of her bag, literally took all her shit out, put the hat at the bottom and put all her shit back on top. I went back and told her how to, uh, you know, that I found one of the hats, I don't know where the other one is at, where well, she probably threw it in the trash, but it was like... I just sit here and asked you, where was my hat set? And you lied and you knew you had hit him and tucked him away. That's an old situation. To turn it up even more, it gets to, to so bad to the point to where these, these motherfucking entities will do shit with your kids and to your kids. I had got my daughter some Crocs and because she wore them over to the other house after school one week, you know what I'm saying? It was like her mom made them disappear. And my daughter knew she didn't have them here at my house. And she asked if she seen them over there. And she looked for them herself. And she said she couldn't find them nowhere. And every time she's on the phone or we talk and we're all, like, communicating in the same vicinity, she always make it her business to put this motherfucker on the spot. I'm like, yo, that shit is crazy. But I realized with this Jezebel spirit, like, it doesn't, you know, it's a spirit. It's a spiritual being. So it doesn't. It's not male or female. It's not masculine or feminine. Because this same spirit and entity, I've dealt with this shit in men. Or I should say males in general. You know what I'm saying? And usually when you deal with that shit in males, it's usually the males that play both sides of the fence. You know what I'm saying? They're either out there up front with the male on male shit. Or they're sneaking the male on male shit. But they're usually playing both sides of the motherfucking fence. You know what I'm saying? And the shit is fucking weird and the shit is witchy. But they do the same tactics. They do the same tactics. My co-host. I had told the motherfucker, like, I was just, like, in so much technology shit, just trying to learn and figure shit out. I was like, bro, like, I don't know how to uh, screen record. I couldn't find it in my phone or such and such. You know what I'm saying? So he already knew how to screen record. Because he had this information and I didn't have it, he did not want to share. So when we had like a disagreement about something uh, like later on down the road after that, it was like he tried to throw that out there as like it's like a bullet or something like, oh, well, you don't know how to screen record or some shit. And I'm just thinking to myself, bro, I do all the edits. I don't shot music videos. I do photo shoots. I do. I've been doing commercials. I don't film weddings. I done done all this kind of shit in these edits, and you trying to tell me because you know this little piece of information I asked you about it, and you don't want to share that little ass piece. I went out my way the next day to figure this shit out, so that way I didn't have to worry about that situation anymore. But they do the same thing, and I remember uh, just other different beings that I dealt with that. That had that Jezebel spirit that was very manipulative, that was very controlling. They they super entitled, you know what I'm saying? Everything is really covert and destructive. They everything they do has an agenda. They'll never do anything for you and not have an agenda. They'll that that spirit will use anything in this 3D world to kind of 
pull you in. It doesn't have to have any meaning behind it. They can give you $10,000 just to control you and throw that 10000 in the trash. Because the 10000 don't mean shit to them. They want to control your energy. I've seen these motherfuckers waste plenty of bread. I've seen them waste plenty of items, 3D objects, all this kind of shit just to manipulate your energy. That's the main general for the, these motherfucking demonic forces out here that's running around. That's, that's utilizing all our vessels out here. That is the main entity out here right now. You know what I'm saying? One of their highest generals that's just out here making this shit 50 million more times witchier than it already is. You know what I'm saying? But the more we keep bringing awareness to this shit, the more we keep building on it the more we keep creating other avenues outside of this because that isn't the main focus the main focus is to keep, continue to ascend and to create something outside of this matrix if not you know reorganize the whole matrix you know what i'm saying but it's really to get away from the matrix i don't even want to say reorganize it because the shit is trash you know what i'm saying but I ain't want to run it up too long. I just wanted to drop something down there for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Little Jezebel spirits out here running around rampant, hopping vessel to vessel to vessel. You know what I'm saying? So just be tapped in and just know that these motherfuckers will utilize any tactic. They are unfaithful, unloyal entities. You know what I'm saying? So if you're dealing with a Jezebel spirit, just know that they fucking you over behind your back. I don't care if it's a male or a female. They're fucking you over behind your back. You know what I'm saying? So just be aware. And just be prepared because it's always going to be more witchy shit that comes to light dealing with these beings. It never fails, you know what I'm saying? Your fruits from your tree is always going to show. And they shits is always rolling miles and miles away from their goddamn tree. Miles and miles away. It's like, God damn, what? the apple tree is over here. Why the fuck is it apples way down there? Ain't no apple trees over there. Come on now. Peace and love to the kings and queens.